Happy Sunday, everybody. We have got a busy day going on in this house. We gotta reset the house, pick up, clean, mop, all of that stuff, and I got my fall tote out. I was sadly surprised. I didn't have as much fall stuff because I bought so much more Christmas stuff last year. That's why. So I'm gonna put out what I got, and then I'll add a few other little things to it uh, here in a couple weeks. But I definitely, it wasn't fall that I got a stuff, stuff last year. It was um, Christmas. Any hoodie, we're all set for Christmas. I'm gonna put out what I got, and like I said, over the course of the next couple of weeks, I'll buy a few more little things here and there. I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm getting ready to pick up this house. Y'all gonna do that with me? It's a mess, to say the least. Also today, I am washing all the bed comforters, bed sheets, and everything as well. It is just a total reset around here. Sean is in here right now moving the office slash schoolroom around so we can put the big old chalkboard on the wall for the kids and mama. Definitely gonna be a huge help to us. We had a chalkboard, but not near as big as that one and it wasn't on the wall. Chloe came walking through the hallway yesterday with her little, what are they called? It's those magnetic writing boards, but she drew a perfect A, B, and C and I was like, did you do that? And she's like, yeah, I did. And I asked Sean, I'm like, did you write that for her? He said, I ain't even been in her room. So, so proud of my girl, but this chalkboard's gonna take it to the next level with her, I guarantee it. And Colton too. Let's get this hacienda cleaned. Let's get these bed sheets and blankets washed. The schoolroom moved around for dinner, y'all. We are going easy. I have got some hamburger meat laid out. Got Sean a little cheap steak laid out. And I'm just gonna do, because it's, we got lots of cleaning and things to do today. I'm just gonna do this with um, the hamburger meat for me and the kids and some garlic bread. And I'm probably gonna make Sean the steak, egg, and some sweet potatoes. And that's it. No sweet potatoes. No sweet potatoes? I can't get the taste for them. Well see, we have figured out that regular potatoes, baked potatoes, all the other ones, they really run his energy down. And I mean, he crashes. Like he can eat it and lay down and go to sleep and he's weak the rest of the day. So I figured we would try sweet potatoes, but he's not a giant fan of sweet potatoes. So um, moving on, but I did find this pasta. I don't know if he'll try it. It's chickpea pasta, uh, protein packed. I didn't know if you guys know that or not, but uh, this box right here has 12 grams of protein in it. And this shouldn't bother him. See, pasta does him the same way as the potatoes do him. So we're gonna try this. I love chickpeas. I mean, I absolutely love them. When I get salads at our local restaurant, I load it with chickpeas. He might not be a fan, but after sauce and everything goes on it, he may not even notice. And we might have a pasta that we can eat that don't bother him. Y'all let me know out there how you guys do it. If breads and pastas and potatoes weigh you down, leave us a comment below and let us know what you substitute with or what you switch out and how it works for you, please. Because this is still a learning, very much learning journey for us. So leave a comment and let us know. Y'all see why it's reset day? Look at here. Ro you are you drawing roll over? Yeah. 
good job you guys his favorite song is 10 in the bed roll over and i've been drawing it with him that's his little person on a pillow and his little sleep hat good job colt i guess this is the cover and this is the other pillows good job oh it's mama and Cece or tt watch him he's drawing the you drew an a good job Rick. sleep Good. Man. Mamma. Is that Mamma and Bubby sleeping? We got to get this room cleaned up. We got a Windex. We got to wash sheets. We got to pick all these toys up. We got to clean y'all's kitchen set. The whole works today, girl. The whole works. You feel it in your bones? It's reset cleaning day. Not yucky. Must be done. Colton's room ain't too bad because the TV is obviously in Chloe's room. He he is getting one for his birthday. That was actually his TV, but he chose this room after we painted. So we just left the TV on the wall in there for her. And we're going to get him one in November for his birthday. But anyhow, his room is not near as bad as hers. I need your best slime out of carpet. Look, you can see it's soft. Because I've shampooed it. I've put baking soda and vinegar on it. I've tried everything, but I cannot get it completely out. Here, too, this is slime. A slime stain. If y'all have any tips and tricks to get slime fully out of carpet, also let me know. Now, ask me that again. What, that I laid three screws down and you moved them? How long have them screws been laying Couple there? Days. Sean, how Couple. long have them screws been laying? A week? Couple days. I, that board's only been here like three days so it ain't been a week because they come out of it let me tell y'all he tried i've been on him about the grass i can't stand for my grass and weeds to get high but, but i looked out the window and he dropped the weed eater and was running those things he got he literally got to weed eat for 10 minutes but he dropped the weed eater and run and they i bet you a hundred swarmed that weed eater so I, we feel like prisoners right now in our own home. We can't let the kids go outside and play, no matter where. All, our yard's about as long as a football field, but all the way to the back, they're trampling when they jump. I guess the vibration, they come out and go crazy. Swinging, you know, going down their slide, I guess the vibration, they have to be in the ground somewhere, but we can't find the nest. But the <laughs> weed eater. Sh not right now honey there's a thousand bees i've got four traps out there right now trying to catch as many more as i can we cannot go outside like at all our kids go out we're on the porch for 10 minutes and i mean they're just they're bouncing off of our faces it's driving me nuts because hey. the weather is perfect right now and we should be able to go outside and enjoy it and we can't we can't like Next year, I will be prepared for this. Let, this is my lesson learned, okay? Next year, any holes in the ground in my backyard or wherever, I will be filling up. Everybody has told me, I don't care if I have to buy five bottles, big bottles of Dawn dish soap and mix it in five gallon buckets and start pouring it down them holes like crazy before spring. Every hole in my backyard is going to get dumped with dish soap and water. Brand new mattress, two months old. Pink marker all over it already. Hi! 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 What are you doing? What's Becky? One of these days, y'all, I'm gonna get me a speed queen. It is slow as I'll get out. And sometimes I have to run stuff through twice. So. I don't love it, but I'm thankful it does the job it's got us through. Good Lord willing in the creek don't rise. Oh. My next one is going to be a speed Why do you have that? If I gotta save for you.
it is dark in here and you can't see. But that's all I got for fall right now. I'm a little scarecrow guy. Blah, 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 blah. Scarecrow guy. Now this has a plug in it. I don't even remember last year how I plugged that up. But I'm going to have Sean help me figure that out. My little pine cone tree. Uh, it's, it's broke. I'm thinking about just cutting that stick off at the top and just letting it sit like that. But that might be my last year with that guy. I've had that forever. My little thankful sign. And some of my cute little silver pumpkins. Just a few little things. My little butter dish. But any hoodie, we're getting ready to decorate. So sadly, it is time yeah. to move the jellyfish to the school room. What is that? Oh, it grew hair? That's so cool. Yeah, put the hair off. Cece, what'd you get? A flamingo? You gotta yeah. grow its feathers. It's and, wings. Well, let me get a piece of Play-Doh. Oh, you need a piece of Play-Doh? Sean got him something to try to occupy him while we... I need your help because I'm too short. I know you need my help, but I only took a couple uh. years of psychology and I just tried to diagnose you and you won't let me. You know what? Yeah. That is... I'm ashamed that we don't have more fall decorations than that. What are we doing? Living life without a bunch of stuff from Hobby Lobby. It's my favorite. Fall is my favorite. Lord have mercy. Y'all, don't judge me. I did not realize all the crusty dusty that was behind my um thing, my utensil holder. Note to self, don't forget to pull your utensil holder out, y'all. I love my little pumpkin butter dish. I got that last year on Amazon, if you guys are wondering. I need to wash them, but look how cute. A little salt and pepper shaker wagon. All right, got those washed. Now you guys, these are adorable and I got them on Amazon too, but I would not recommend them because the holes are so big, you, you can't use them. It's basically a decoration. It's a cute one, you know, that I'll have in my little fall collection for years, but you can't really use it. No, 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 no. Oh no, switch then. I said I'll film you. this and the scarecrow up there. That's it. I ain't being micromanaged on decoration. Cause you know what? I care less. Give me that one cause it's skinnier and you can put that pewter one up there. Well, you guys, it's a start. It's a start. I thought I had so much more fall stuff than I do, but that's okay. I'm gonna add to it. That sounds like that's I gotta put batteries back. It probably will, but for now, let me turn this on. This is how we got it set up. I wanted to show you guys. This wall is finished for now. But check it out, so cute. Got all the magnetic letters. Got, um, that's all the chalk we got right now. But I have some being delivered tomorrow from Amazon. Four boxes of white. And another um, eraser because this is Expo and I didn't even pay attention when I picked it up and it does not work, work good for chalk at all, so. But got all their little posters. You know, they basically know the weather, so I just kinda, we're not even here yet, but it's there for a visual. Yeah, also there for a visual. They do know that we live here, and yeah. Granny and Paul used to live yeah, here in Florida. Yeah. This is pretty much a visual wall. Now, I have two copies of these. I wanted a copy for the wall, and I wanted a copy for them to be able to set at their table, their desk, and no. use to help. But, you know, curriculum makes it a lot easier. But this is still fun stuff to do. Super happy with that. The homeschool room is still coming along. Now, my bunch is hungry, so it's time to cook dinner. Because Colton keeps saying, snack, snack, snack. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna cook. So, I gotta cook his children some food. You are? Good. Yeah. Dinner is served. Simple, but so good. Now let's eat. Are you, you guys ready to eat? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I found one nest. Now go in that hole right there. No. 
I'll let these little demons get home. I got something for them. <laughs> Time to do some sketchy stuff. Do da, do da. I'm gonna do away with you. Oh, do do da day. Not messing with that government nozzle. Do da, do da. Oh, I see the whole thing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, something dug it up. Ooh, <laughs> right, you meanies. Now you where you belong. <laughs> Bad thing is, I know that's not the only ones. There's more. I'll find them. They drove me crazy. Okay, you guys. Sheesh. I feel like I have not stopped nor sat down today. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Just got the kids in bed. I am fixing to wind myself down and get myself in the bed soon. Sorry, I didn't have a ton of fall decorations. Y'all, to put it for you, I feel like I'm missing a tote of stuff somewhere. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> like, I, I do believe I have another tote because I remember buying, like, this floral fall flower pot last year and this orange and black checkered pumpkin and so I, i'm pretty sure i got a tote i'm gonna have to dig out we have three storage spots that building and two sides on this one up here so i'm gonna have to dig through everything and find it unless i crazy me might have tossed it i don't think in a million years i would do that but you know mom brain is on full effect so who knows but i know about the stuff <laughs> but anywho I was sitting here looking around at pictures, hair pictures, before I was going to sign off with y'all. I do this every year at this time, you guys. Fall hair. Like, I want to do the fall hair. Now, the hairdresser that I've had for about the last three years, you guys, she has completely healed my hair. Even though she's still highlighting my hair, she has never, not one time, burnt my hair. I mean, she does amazing on my hair and um i've tried myself i've been trying to keep the heat off of it you know taking vitamins and stuff so my it hasn't gotten as thick as it used to be for sure but the shedding has for the most part stopped thank god and uh it's super soft even on the highlighted part so and i was sitting here thinking like i want to go back to my natural color and just blend in light, you know, not go heavy on the highlights like I normally do, but just kind of start over, you know, just medium highlights for fall over the brown, and then, you know, every time you go back to get it re-highlighted, you're, you're adding more blonde back in, but, but then again, I was sitting here thinking to myself, like, Megan, you have spent the last few years between you and your hairdresser healing your hair, so I'm trying to talk myself out of processing my hair that much you know one time because when I go in she just touches up my roots and a little you know here and there on the length so I'm trying to be good I'm trying to be good and just get my roots touched up but I ain't made my mind up a hundred percent yet I'm still looking I need a change <laughs> I, I think I do anyways it would be nice to have Hair color change for a few days, but my luck, I would get down there and get it done and be like, I don't like it. I don't like it. That scar that I've got on my head from that car accident that goes from ear to ear all the way across the top. When my hair is my natural color or brown, you can really see it, you know, because it's skin against dark hair. But the blonde really helps hide that and blends in with the color of my scalp so i don't know i'm thinking but anyhow i have rambled enough you guys i am tired sean finally got one um yellow jacket nest thank the lord listen all summer i've been telling him sean do you hear that buzzing do you hear that buzzing and he's like no 
Well, I wasn't crazy because it was literally about 25 foot from her porch. Um, the nest that he found on the hillside right there in the ground. So I wasn't crazy. I had been hearing that buzzing very close. So tomorrow I'm kind of going to keep my ears on check. I definitely think there's one in our main backyard around the kids trampoline. But what he's going to have to do tomorrow is when it starts to get cool down and get closer to dark, he's going to have to go up there and try to find that nest and see where all those are going. And hopefully, we'll at least cut down on the craziness with the yellow jackets. But anyhow, I love y'all. I'm going to bed. I will see you on the next one. Stay positive, stay country, and stay true to your roots.